After the very fortunate timing of the Reichstag fire, uh, he uh, assumed dictatorial powers, basically had the had everything, had the Senate dissolved. Were they called the Senate? They were, I think they were just called the Reichstag. Uh, in, any, in any case, all the semblances of democracy just went bye-bye. Um, and, uh, and that was that. So that was the end of Weimar, Germany. Now, today we have a situation in which uh, an ex-president, Donald Trump, has been accused of a crime uh, that many think, again, is trumped up. Ha ha ha. So, <sighs> although there, there was some, there, there, you know, if you want to say, yeah, the January 6th stuff, that was, that was treasonous. Um, you know, I, I, I think that's kind of silly, uh, frankly. Um, I don't think if you look at it objectively, any, that there was any attempt to overthrow, uh, the government. Um, it was at worst just a, 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 a uh, kind of a riotous scene at the Capitol building. Um, people broke in and uh, just sort of, I don't know, hung around and, and uh, you know, it, it, it was no, it was no putsch. I'll, I'll say that. It was no beer hall putsch. But that's not what they are trying to get Trump for what they're trying to get Trump for is for uh, paying off uh, a hooker uh, and uh, for disguising the funds that he paid her uh, as legal funds. So uh, I guess it's kind of financial fraud. Uh, those, those are the charges that they've that they've decided to compile against Trump at this very interesting juncture, right? Um, uh, you know, the year before he's probably going to be running for president again. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see, uh, again, Hitler, uh, you know, Hitler, we saw how, what happened with Hitler. Uh, we saw his arrest and um, how he how he used that uh, that moment, uh, those circumstances, to uh, pivot, as it were, um, and to to promote himself and to promote his ideas. Uh, and essentially, he came out on top. All he did was a few months in a very uh, a very cushy jail, uh, and then emerged. His party more powerful than they they had been when he uh, when he when he went to jail. Um. So here is my prediction. Although I'm not I'm not following the the story all that closely because I'm really not uh, I I don't as I said I've said before I hate the news, I hate getting caught up in the news, uh, I think it's a waste of time, I, I think it's, it's worse than a waste of time, I think it's something that can just obsess you, and make you think that, uh, I don't know, uh, the bad things that are happening today are going to last forever, or on the other hand, it can fill you with false hope, like, oh boy, we're coming, to, this is, uh, you know, QAnon, enjoy the show, uh, trust the plan, it's all coming out, it's all coming out, we're going to get those perverts all rounded up, and the good guys are in, are in charge, and uh, it's, it's going to, uh, you know, just get your popcorn, because you're, you're going to see those, all those evil deep state people just frog marched to the guillotine, um, that, you know, you can very easily get caught up in things in, in, in both of those, you know, and hope deferred maketh the heart sick. So 
So don't don't uh, uh, don't hope. Don't have that kind of hope that where your hope is always getting deferred. You know where it's always like, oh, it's about to happen. 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 Which is what the Q people were were like from uh, 2017 all the way through uh, January of 2021. It was like, yep, he's he's got it all. Our man is is uh, is in the driver's seat. Uh, he's got his ducks all in a row. He's just working it all out. Uh, and pretty soon we're just going to see him falling like dominoes. In fact, they already are falling like dominoes. You know, they they said they said things like you know McCain. He didn't just die of cancer. All right, he he was he was put to death by a military tribunal. Um, and Tom Hanks is dead. Uh, you know, when you see him, when you saw him on Saturday Night Live that time, that wasn't really Tom Hanks. It, 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 you could tell it's not Tom Hanks because look at this picture of him. It doesn't look like his ears uh, in this this shot. Uh, it, you know, it looks like CGI, um, and so on and so forth. It was just, it was all pretty, pretty absurd, um, pretty ridiculous. But I do think it will be interesting because I do believe in historical patterns. I do believe the, I, I think the dictum uh, about history uh, repeating itself the first time as tragedy, the second time as farce. I, I think that's, uh, I think that's, those are the words of an oracle, right? It's vague enough where you can just, just fit it into a lot of different situations, but it certainly fits here. Um, not that there isn't a lot of tragedy now, and not that there wasn't a lot of farce then, but I would say that compared to a character like Hitler, uh, somebody like Trump is is more more of a farcical uh, figure. Um, um, anyhow, what will what will unfold here, uh, you know, is, I, I, again, my prediction, I, I think that Trump will likely succeed at make at using this spectacle um, to promote himself uh, and to, uh, uh, to manifest this idea of martyrdom, which isn't even, which isn't even all the, totally inaccurate um you know the, the the that his enemies are trying to make an example of him they are trying they are just throwing just fleeing stuff in a desperate effort to to get him uh and to 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 nail him um because we never that we've never seen this kind of uh obvious partisanship uh, before, I mean, we've we've seen obvious partisanship on, on many levels, but we haven't seen a case like this where you've got, um, you know, a, a, a DA who's clearly got an agenda, who's clearly part of a group who has an agenda, and that agenda is to uh, to get Trump. And you know, these were charges that had been passed up on before. Um by i think the department of justice you know nobody had it, it, this this is this is in a way old news but but it's what it's the best thing they have to try to uh to try to throw at him to try to hurt him um and just as, as was the case with hitler i i believe just just like hitler was a showman a consummate showman um so is trump and uh, I think that he'll uh, he, he he'll likely succeed at using this as a as a catapult to uh, to greater um, greater recognition, greater success, greater approval uh, amongst uh, I mean on the, uh, those on his side of the uh, the culture war um, divide. I see that happening. Um, I see nothing but an upside for uh, for DT here, and I don't even say that 
as somebody who's who's a particularly who's who's particularly Trump partisan who's who's particularly a Trump partisan. I I hate the same people who hate Trump. So I guess it's sort of an enemy of my enemy thing in my case. But if you go back and look at this channel and look at everything I've said and everything I've ever written, uh, in spite of what some of you might might be, be uh, prejudiced into thinking, if you just stumbled on this and, and you hear me saying the words that I'm saying. I've, I mean, I've had people before tell me, oh no, you are a Trump supporter. You're a Trump supporter. Don't lie now, you're a Trump supporter. You know you are. I'm like, oh, well, you know me better than I know myself, and you don't even know me at all. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Um, and, yeah, the you know, the fact is I'm, I, I, I like Trump better than I like his enemies. But that doesn't mean I'm a Trump supporter. So, uh, you know, if that... If, if, if you're going to say that 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 it's it's a pretty tepid uh, uh, level of support, if it's just like, uh, yeah, well, he, he's he's kind of a uh, he's kind of annoying, you know, he he's kind of this uh, not very likable guy. But on the other hand, the way he gets hated on by all these other people who are clearly up to no good whatsoever. These WEF people, you know, World Wrestling Federation people. Um, these uh, these globalists, you know, the, these uh, uh, let's let's get uh, 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 quintuple vaccinated and and uh, you know uh, give all of our money to Ukraine, uh, you know. Compared to that crowd, uh, yeah, I would I would say Trump is uh, the lesser of the evils by far. So there you go, Trump and Hitler. History repeating itself. First time as tragedy, now as farce, and the farce marches on, marches on inexorably. And I fear, I truly fear, uh, November 2024. But at the same time, I wonder, I wonder if this could be maybe what, where we finally get over, we finally get past this Weimar uh, era. You know, uh, maybe uh, Trump uh, wins the presidency, or maybe. It's a close fight, um, and and uh, you know, civil war breaks out, and the military uh, decides to take uh, Trump's side, and uh, and Trump gets installed, uh, you know, as a as a not not a Hitler esque figure, but as like a uh, let's say a, um, like a a Caesar type figure um, and democracy finally dies it dies the worthwhile death that it needed to die the uh, and the Weimarican Republic is uh, finally sacked and uh, purged and you know that can't happen soon enough uh, but if it happens after November of 2024, then I'm going to, I'm going to be right there to say, I like it. I approve. Uh, this is good. Let's keep going in that, in this direction. And, uh, let's leave Vimerica far, far behind, but we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching my, uh, my um, speculations, and talk to y'all soon.